but you have. You have not left the church. What troubles you? God will speak to me. I know it. He will show me my true path. You have God's not... light will show him his path. Maybe I can illuminate the lectern somehow to seize his prattling. Hours. God is giving me a sign. If only I could see it. See his light. A sign? God in heaven, give him a sign. Set him on his true path, far away from me. Yes. Illuminate me, oh Lord. Illuminate me. Send me a sign. God through another. Hmm. My account must be one of utmost grace, exhaustive, immortalizing the great acts of the prodigal Alfred. Oh, thank you, Lord. I will write a blessed manuscript praising Alfred and his great. So I've set him. Is this what you want? I'll. You seem agitated. What gave it away? The fact that I had to debase myself pissing in this swindler's pond? Or the angry shouting? This man has something of yours? And here's another godsend to shit in my stew pot. Sod off unless you are going to magic Alfred's jewel out your arse. If the jewel belongs to Alfred, it might be worth a pretty penny. Alfred's jewel, you damn scoundrel! We have already paid for it! By God, Harry Ball, you're a thief and a swindler! Give me the jewel, Alfred Commissioner! I'll wear your hat! Give me Alfred's jewel, you damned scoundrel! We have already paid for it! By God, Harry Ball, you are a thief and a swindler! I'll wear your guts as a hat! Give me Alfred's jewel, you damn scoundrel! We have already paid for it! You! What are you doing in here? I'm not your enemy... yet. But that man outside certainly wants Alfred's jewel. Oh, Jesus wept upon the Holy Cross! Fuck off the both of you! Alfred will get the jewel when I get what I'm owed. Peace, or you'll feel my blade in your guts. <laughs> Sorry, my beef is not with you. I only ask for what coin is fair. It cost me double to make over what was agreed. I have a wife to feed. If the jewel belongs to Alfred, then on your life you'd be wise to deliver it for the agreed price. Marry on a donkey! You deserve the bloody thing. It's not worth my hide. Much as my wife would love to be a widow. I have your jewel. Well, I didn't ask for your help, but I am glad of it. Alfred commissioned this rare thing. How rare? Filigreed gold. Centered with a rock crystal and enamel plaque. A miniature of our most beatific lord, Jesus Christ. And... And you're going to just keep it, aren't you? I am. And I have to tell the king. I let a Dane steal his gift to his wife. You do. And also this. Every treasure he has, I'll take. Every poet who writes him into song will sing threefold of me, because we are Vikinger, and this green and pleasant land will be ours. Bollocks. We burn the treasure, and we will forget we met! Stop following me, or the duel will not be the only thing you will lose. Is 
shows for the taking. I'm going to do it. You see if I don't. He's going to fall. I'm just screwing my courage oh, to the oh sticky my days. I can't look. <laughs> oh, it's high. Why is it so high? If I die, tell her I think only of her. What are you doing all the way up here? Don't try and stop me. I will get that flower, and then she'll see how much I love her. A brave choice, little fellow. Even if I get smashed on the ground like an... an overripe plum. I'm just getting my breath back. The climb was hard. I'm girding my... uh... uh... loins. Lions, eh? Well, I could get it for you. I would hate to see such a ferocious flame snuffed out. I mean, if you insist. But I could get it if I wanted to. Just so you know. He missed! The stranger missed! That could have been Esselbert's man! What a terrible show! that easy you would have done it yourself risked life and limb but great men know the value of a champion what will you do with such a treasure it's for her it's all for her so she'll finally notice me Athelflaed what do you say to the sweet boy? Thank you for the flower. It is very beautiful. Now we are betrothed, and I will grow up to be a great king. And you will be my fair lady. What say you, daughter? Do you think him a worthy suitor? He risked so much to declare his love. I will tell my husband the king you claim our daughter's hand. When you are a little older, of course. Come, dearest. Holy cattle! You actually gave a flower to the princess! And now we are be- Come on! Someone must be brave enough to challenge me! Nice! You're pretty cocksure for a child. You would be too if you had miracle legs. Miracle legs. They seem pretty normal to me, girl. Looks can be deceiving. Have you heard of the great Phidippides, the mighty hero of old? Ran all the way from Marathon to tell the king they won the battle. Then guess what happened? He only fell down dead. Dead? From running? It was very far. Girls can't fight. It's the rules. But like Phidippides, I'm going to be the fastest messenger who ever lived. So when the Norse defeat the Saxon armies, you'll quickly bear the bad news to your king. Sissy britches. Fat chance. So do you want to race or not? I've beaten everyone else in the whole world. In that case, let's run. Great fight, Dippenies! Give me speed! Whoosh! No other Saxon has been able to keep me on my toes like you, little one. I never thought I would be beaten, but you run like the wind. I'm glad I had a real challenge. And I'm glad to have given you one. Do you like interesting places? I've run all over Wessex, found some scary, spooky magic spots. <sighs> Exploring such is what I live for. I'll give you my diary. I call it the many wondrous runnings of the galloping miracle legs. 